Hey, this is Sam Black with my fourth match with Mono White Soldiers in Legacy. I'm on the draw. I have a turn one chalice, so I'm going to keep this hand. Just have to hope to dodge um, days and force a will. There's an argument for not casting the chalice to play around days. I think it's better to just play it. And there's force a will. It's all right. You got Thalia. Fourth Alia. All right. Well, maybe Commander Isha will save me. These plans are getting worse. I think getting this into play is actually better than getting Thalia into play here. Someday, I hope that Modo gets to the point where this thing just automatically stays scrolled to the bottom. Suppression fields don't really do anything when my opponent has four lands in place, so I'm not going to cast them. And I think I need Commander Isha as a blocker. My plan at this point, my expectation is to lose, but my strategy to attempt to win the game is to uh, stay alive long enough to resolve, resolve Captain of the Watch. This is going to be a bolt on Commander Isha, and I'm going to die. Alright, uh, this is no longer a board state that I can beat. Holy light. That's what I need, clearly. And Dawnbringer Chariot here must exist for this matchup. Um, I think Rest in Peace is not the right approach. So, um, I'm guessing my plan is to upgrade these Dara War Chiefs into Dawnbringer Charioteers. Um, I go 
guess I'll answer this question. I think I like suppression field in this matchup on the play. Um, even mind sensor is fine, but not great. It's very easy to kill. I think I can trim those. Um, trying to decide if the last room is better or worse or worse than like a wasteland or Thorn of Amethyst or Rest in Peace. Maybe. I'm just going to cut it for a wasteland. I don't know, that might be wrong. Um, this is an unexciting hand, but... It's kind of fine. I'll keep it. No idea if I was supposed to mulligan this hand. Could easily believe that this was an easy mulligan. But, I don't know, casting Gus Cloak Savior doesn't seem like the worst. It probably is the worst when I don't have a ca uh, cavern. It's a close call on whether I want to play Thalia or Preeminent Captain first. Um, if I play Preeminent Captain first, I take a lot more damage from Ancient Tomb and I don't get Thalia uh, down immediately, and Thalia in play is pretty great. On the other hand, plus Primate Captain might just die. On the other hand, um, if I wait, I can play Thalia with Caracas up to be able to save Thalia, which is certainly something that I'd be interested in doing. Um, the problem is that I have to tap Ancient Tomb to play Thalia to have Caracas up, and so I'm taking four from Ancient Tomb, whereas if I play Thalia and then Preeminent Captain and don't worry about Caracas, I can take zero from Ancient Tomb um, until I play Gus Cloak Savior, and four is kind of a huge amount of life. Um, getting Captain the Watch in my hand certainly influences things. It means both that getting Preeminent Captain into play is better, and that playing Thalia first is better because it draws out a bolt, which means I'm more likely to stick Preeminent Captain. So I'm going to Caracas Thalia this turn. Just gets force available, which is fine with me. Presumably, my opponent just didn't have a second land, and Thalia would have locked him out. Interesting. That is probably better than casting Permanent Captain. Especially since I can do it with the mana up. Okay. Well. So 
this back to the treasure cruise is happening. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, treasure cruise or er, smash smithereens was a lot better than smelt there. For anyone keeping score on which of those cards is better. Interesting. Um, I think I don't want to get dazed. If I play the permanent captain and the delver flips, I really can't block. And then I'm basically dead. If I play Gus Cloak Savior and then he dazes, I'm also basically dead. I'm in a really bad spot. Uh, that smash the smithereens, obviously was perfect. I think it's permanent captain and I just have to hope the Delver doesn't flip and then this is actually a useful blocker. Just gonna get... okay, sure. Something bad was happening to it. Um, it doesn't matter which one I cast if that's what was happening. Please don't flip. I'm getting very lucky with this Delver. But I'm probably just getting killed by the Swift Spear. Yeah, so now I'm dead to Bolt, I'm dead to Delver flipping and hitting me, and I'm dead to this plus two spells, even if I can block Delver. Given that my opponent has cast Brainstorm, Delver's almost certainly flipping, so I need to be able to block it. But there's no chance that my opponent can't play two spells and Cast Cloak Savior is phenomenally unlikely to resolve. But I suppose no, it's not even if days happens, it's not even useful to pay for it with Ancient Tomb, because then these both attack and I die no matter what. Alright. So no reason to sack City Traders for land that doesn't do anything. My opponent has to be unbelievably unlucky for this to save me. We needed to brainstorm again? How is there not already something on top? Now I'm dead. <laughs> 